my oh my look at Tampa so Tampa by the way and I'm going to measure this out so Tampa right now is east of the center of circulation of Helene by 116 miles and this is what's occurring we were talking with uh, uh, Leslie our correspondent Leslie Frazier just a short time ago and she was talking about the flooding that's occurring around Tampa look at the winds tropical storm force conditions right now want to show you the radar here and we'll put this in the motion just a, a very scary looking radar here uh, this afternoon of Hurricane Helene it has gotten so much stronger really quickly let's go into the eye wall and let's measure this out just a little bit here so we're talking about a length of about 25 miles or um, length of 25 miles and a width about 25 miles as well that's a pretty uh, cylindrical certainly uh, eye wall the other thing that you're starting to see is when you see lightning around the eye wall that is also a clear indication of strengthening and over the last uh, hours few hours the maximum staying winds here are now up to 125 miles per hour that is closing in on category four status damien was looking at these thunderstorms earlier some good news finally that we do not have any tornado warnings the bad news is boy you take a look at this radar and, you know damien you can chime in on this i mean look at these cells that i'm circling here these individual cells it's only a matter of time before we do have additional tornado warnings, I would think. Oh, yeah. Every single one of those storms you just circled have inbound winds pretty much perpendicular to uh -huh. their movement. So they're going to produce rotation. So I wouldn't be surprised if three, at least three of those five. What we normally look at are the, su the southern storms. The southern storms always have the best chance of producing rotation. So any one of those three you just circled will definitely look like they're going to produce tornado warnings. And, of course, that's the reason why we do have uh, tornado watches out for the area as well. I want to show you that. There they go across the Florida Peninsula and extending all the way northward in the southern parts of uh, South Carolina. Those tornado watches continue into the evening. All right. Uh, power outages, they're going to continue to escalate here in Florida already. We have power outages over uh, 240,000 homes and businesses without power. And I promise you this, those t uh, power outages in, in Georgia will be escalating exponentially after midnight tonight. Most of the power outages in Florida from Tampa toward Miami, we've had tropical storm force conditions there throughout the morning and afternoon hours. Maximum sustained winds. And look at that eye. And I made this reference before, and I, I, I do this with a lot of caution. But the presentation that I'm seeing right now reminds me of Ian and Michael. You're starting to get the stadium effect. You see that? Where you're starting this look down into the eye. It looks like you're looking into a stadium. Now, do I think that we're going to get the strengthening as much as Ian and Michael? I do not. But I do feel that this is going to easily get to maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour. That is cat category four before making landfall. The other note is the acceleration now to the north northeast at 23 miles per hour. Now it's the sheer size of Helene. I want to go back to Barrel. That was the strongest so far this season in the Atlantic Basin. It was a category five when it went across the Windward Islands. It was a category one when it made landfall in Texas, but it's about double the size. There's our landfall projection near St. Uh, St. Mark's in Appalachia Bay, just to the north north is Tallahassee. That landfall between 10 and 11 miles per hour, there's uh, 10 to 11 o'clock, 130 to 135 miles per hour. And these are the conditions that we are expecting from Helene. We will be talking with our own Allie Reed. She is in Tallahassee. Outside right now, let's go to Atlanta. Almost four inches of rain here over the last 36 hours in Atlanta. Flooding will be a huge issue here as well. All right, really quickly, I want to show you the satellite. Just a few minutes ago, I talked about Ian and Michael, that I had a sinking feeling here. That's what it looks like. The uh, Hurricane Hunters just found 135 mile per hour winds in the northeast quadrant. This is a Category 4 hurricane. Let's wait for the update from the Hurricane Center. AccuWeather Ahead continues after this.